You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa today witnessed the qualifying race for the endurance season 2019-2020 held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. He was accompanied by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The program included an 80-kilometer international race and an 80-kilometer long local one, in addition to a 40-kilometer long local race. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the qualifying race for the season came strong in all its stages with the participation of riders who contributed to give the race a strong technical character. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the new season will be more exciting than the previous seasons in light of the good preparations for stables and riders. His Highness expressed his happiness to enter many young faces of the knights in the races, pointing out the Royal Federation of equestrian and ability races has prepared a plan for many years. The introduction of young faces and the ability races, which is reaping the fruits of this ambitious plan. His Highness pointed out that the wide participation of the riders contributed to the creation of an atmosphere of strong and exciting competition, pointing out that the royal team has involved many horses in this race in order to qualify them to participate in the next races, especially in the opening race of the season on the evening of the 23rd of November ongoing. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the tremendous efforts exerted by Brief, led by its president and deputy president of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid expressed Brief's keenness to implement His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives to ensure easy procedures for stables and jockeys to participate in the qualifying race. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his pride in the victory of horse Dahya, who won the second place in the Predators Cup Joplin Horse Race held at the St. Antina Race Course in Los Angeles, noting that it is a remarkable achievement. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stressed that the skillful attainment of the second place confirms the kingdom's distinguished position in the international races and will be a motivation for the technical staff to continue achieving further successes in the coming races. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the Predators Cup Jolplin is considered one of the strongest races in the world and always witnesses a strong competition among the participating riders and enjoys the great interest of the owners and stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts of rider William Buick and trainer Roger Ferns and their keenness to provide the best levels to achieve the advanced positions. The horse won the second place in the first category for 1600 meters amid a strong competition with the participation of 14 riders. This is the sixth participation for the horse with three previous victories. And just behind them, Cristal is moving on the outside. She's gone by a couple. She's ten lengths behind. Unforgettable's next to her. Albina is last as they come to the top of the stretch. Sweet Melania grabs the lead on the outside as they turn for home. Abscond is second on the rails, sharing his third. Then Daye 
selflessly on the far outside. Sweet Melania to catch. Sharing confronts her. A 16th to go. Sharing takes the lead. Late move from Daye. Back to third is Sweet Melania. Sharing and Manny Franco have won. Daye was second. Sweet Melania was third. Albina came from last. She finished fourth in 1.34. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horsing Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the racing club today organized the opening race for the season 2019-2020, which was held for the Cup of the Late Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa in Rafah Sakhir. Also present were Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, as well as a crowd of horse racing fans. The event comprised seven races. Trophies were presented to the winners.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, signed today the instrument of accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia (TAC) in Bangkok. The signing ceremony was attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand, Don Pram Duan Nai, alongside the Minister of Foreign Affairs and senior officials of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations (ASEAN), the Secretary General of ASEAN, Dato Lim Yok Hoi, and the Deputy Secretary General of ASEAN. During the ceremony, the Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he expressed his utmost thanks to the Kingdom of Thailand for its kind invitation to the Kingdom of Bahrain to exceed the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia. He affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's pride in acceding the treaty in a crucial step that reflects the Kingdom's keenness to strengthen relations with ASEAN countries and support its pivotal role at the regional and international levels. The Minister also noted that these steps facilitate the development of mechanisms of joint cooperation between the GCC and ASEAN countries to meet the common aspirations of their countries and people and contribute to the consolidation of security and peace in the region and the world. For his part, the Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs congratulated the Kingdom of Bahrain on its accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia and expressed the Asian country's willingness to work with the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields for the benefit of all, wishing the Kingdom further success and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today his Thai counterpart, Don Pramod Bunai, on the sidelines of the Asian Foreign Minister's Preparatory Meeting for the 35th Asian Summit held on November the 2nd to the 4th. Sheikh Khalid expressed his utmost thanks to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand for his invitation to the signing ceremony of the Instrument of Accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, TAC, which acts as a testament of the depth of the friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand. He pointed out that this reflects the keenness of both countries to enhance bilateral cooperation and further joint communication and coordination on regional and international issues in a way that supports common interests and benefits both countries and people. The Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed that the Kingdom of Thailand attaches particular significance to enhancing its relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain at various levels and is keen to take advantage of the available opportunities to expand relations between the two countries, congratulating the Kingdom of Bahrain on acceding to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia.